Hello, everyone. So this is what we're going to be doing real quick, uh, which is to put a tracker to a roto point. Um, you just have a roto. So that's what you start with. And then you go to any point you want and you right click on it, copy and down here, single point link. That's what you want. And now you can really apply it to anything. So if I put a tracker in here, add track, paste, absolute like this. There you go. See, it's going to follow that point everywhere, as you can see here. The specific use that I needed it for was um, I had a roto of something, but I didn't have a track. So I needed a motion blur and um, I wanted to use the motion blur 2D node. So all I did was like this right here so that these uh, followed along. Uh, let me go ahead and generate this. All right, so I generated it. And um, yeah, what I needed to do was have a motion blur 2D node. Um, so that I'm just showing you my application of it, but you can literally use this for whatever you want. But it, just in case you need ideas for like what this was for, this is what I did. Motion blur, 2D, transfer, whatever, center. It's going to output to motion. So then I go ahead, go over here, vector blur, motion, one, uniform. Oh. And then I forgot to do tracker, tracker, rotate, blah, blah, blah. And then said, mm, yeah. So this is what I uh, used it for, but um, you can use it for anything. And then of course, I need to adjust the, there we go. Yeah, so all I did was like transfer motion blur over um, because the actual motion blur in here was not working the way I wanted to. But yeah, you can um, use this information for whatever you want. Um, that's just a quick tip. So that's the end of the video. See you guys.